Okay, this is my response to John Seely Brown's comments in his video, Tinkering as a Mode of Knowledge Production. Um, initially, he started talking about the idea of creating knowledge, which I liked. Um, we've done a lot of that in our methods class with the whole summarize, observe, contextualize, um, infer with the World War II stuff and with Sam Smiley. Um, I think that's really good for students. It's interacting, interactive, it's engaging. Um, it's very hands-on. I guess I'm a little confused on what exactly he means by create. Does he mean create new knowledge? Does he mean um, create new knowledge that's new to the kids but not to the teachers? Um, does he just want them to discover this knowledge for themselves? Um, and I guess for the teachers in this, this um, creative, creative learning are they supposed to be guides? Do they correct kids when they come to a wrong conclusion, if that's possible, if it's based on facts and they come up with the wrong fact? Um, or do they let them go with wrong assumptions? Um, then he went on to discuss the architectural studio. I think that was a really good idea, just being able to learn from others, to teach others. We do learn a lot when we teach it. Um, I know I personally retain information a lot better if I explain it out loud to someone. Um, I think it's also good how he hit on accepting criticism in our society. It's everyone just wants to be nice and accepting of everything. When criticism used correctly, um, can be good and beneficial to the student. Um, I guess my only question with that is, what about children who have social anxieties or actual problems where that would really scare them? Um, working in front of everyone, creating ideas where everyone can see it. Um, what do you do with those kids? Do you force them to do it or do you adapt? Uh, as he touched on technology, I really liked how he said that this is a different world. Um, I think a lot of older teachers and even students, pre-service teachers, are very resistant to change in technology and the use of technology. Whether you like it or not, the children are going to use it, so we need to be able to adapt as well um, to teach them better. Uh, by using this technology correctly, um, we can allow for more creative learning. There are so many different things we can do, like in class today where we all texted in our vote. Um, that's something that I think would really grab the kids' attention, um, that they would really like. Also, it allows for more collaboration in your work, like he talked about. Um, you take someone else's work, you add to it, and you put it back out there. Um, and we saw kind of this with the video, the YouTube video of the kid making fire. He was able to get input from other people um, through the use of technology. Finally, he discussed identity and how this would lead to children finding their identity and what they cre and what they create, as opposed to what clothes they wear or where they're from. Don't know that I 100% agree that that would happen. I think identity for kids is still going to be pretty much based on typical stereotypes, but um, to a certain extent in the academic realm, it might help them create their own identity or give them a sense of pride.